Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video we will see how to create and test a database server in Docker. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all I will assume that you have installed Docker into your machine and it's actually running. Okay. So in order to test a server or a database server you have to choose what database are you going to use? So personally, I choose a very famous one called MySQL. So MySQL is a very famous database server that we're gonna play with. So the first thing that you have to do in order to actually create and test a database server in Docker is to pull it from the Docker hub. So the command actually is pretty simple. Docker pull, then your database name. So here I choose my SQL and I will choose the latest version. Okay. And you hit enter. So this my SQL image actually is uh, quite big. So I have already pulled it from the Docker hub. So if you want to see all the images that you have actually pulled or downloaded from the Docker hub, you execute the command Docker images. Okay. So here we go. You can see that MySQL database actually has a total size of 445 megabytes. Okay. So now that we have pulled our database, we can play with it. So let's create a container with this image. So in order to create a container, pretty easy. Docker, then run. Then here we have to specify a name. So I will choose DB as a name for my container here. And also I will use the option minus D, which stands for actually detach mode. So the MySQL database will actually run in the background as a daemon. And minus P here, as you can see, we have chosen a port map. So I will map the port of my database server to the same port actually which is the default port for my SQL which is 3306 okay and now there is a very interesting option here called minus e minus e stands actually for the environment variable so here I will assign actually uh, a password for the root so here I'll choose just one to three as a root password. Okay. And at last we specify the image that we are going to work with. Okay. So I hit enter. So now the container is being created and you see its ID. Okay. So in, in order to verify that the container is running, we actually can execute Docker PS command. And here we go. You can see clearly that uh, the container, which has the ID that began by PC, and it's running and was created 19 seconds ago. Okay. And there is the port map and the name, which is DP. Okay. So now let's actually execute a command on this container. So in order to execute a command directly on the container, I will use the command docker exec minus it. So I stand for interactive and T for terminal. And we specify the name of our image or container here, which is DB. And finally, we specify actually the TTY that we are going to work with. So I will use here the bash shell. So I will hit enter. And here we go. Now we are in the shell so we can interact with our database server. So let's connect to this database server using the credential of a root. So the command to connect to MySQL server is simple MySQL. Then minus u for user. So I'll specify the user here, which is the root. Then minus p for the password. And as we have actually stated 
before we have used one two three as a password okay so now it tries to connect to this container here so if you get this kind of message it means just the container is not yet ready to receive your connection so you have to try once again later okay so I will wait a little bit in order for the container to be ready then I can launch once again the connection okay so let's try now we still the container is still not running so we have to wait a little bit And here we go now we have successfully connected to our container okay so now we can execute sql commands in order to interact with our server so let's show actually the databases so we can execute the command show databases and don't forget the comma at the end or semicolon actually at the end here we go so those are the databases that has been created in our database server which is actually a container okay so i will exit that here we go i will exit shell also but if we execute our command docker ps we can see that our actually container is still running so in order to stop it we execute the command docker stop then the name of my container which is in this case db so now i have stopped the container so let's verify docker ps so no more container is running okay so let me clear the terminal now let's create a customized image that actually will be populated by a specific database and specific uh, actually lines okay so in order to create our customized image we have to create what we call a docker file so let's go to my desktop here Okay, so let's create a docker file. So I will use the touch command in order to create a file. So the file should be actually docker file as a name. Okay, here we go. So now we have created our docker file. So as you can see here on my desktop, the file has been created, but it's empty. So if we do a cat docker file, so the file is quite empty so in order to create a customized image we have to put some instruction in our docker file so let's open any terminal editor so i will use here vim okay so the vim is opened so in order to create our customized image so i will go to insert merge insert mode so the first command is from which image are going to customize so i'll use the from instruction then we specify the image so here i will be using my sql image and of course the latest version enter then we have to specify the environment variable as we have put it earlier so i will specify for example uh, the environment variable for the root password so it's called mysql root password and here you have to actually give it a password so i'll just uh, make space one two three for example okay i will add another environment variable but this time I will create actually a new database so I will call this 
environment variable is called mysql database okay so let's uh, for example call it users and we'll create mysql user so environment variable mysql user you can call it whatever you want so let's call it for example aminos okay this is mysql database user and we have to specify a password for this user so environment variable mysql password okay so let's just make it one two three four for example so with these credentials aminos and the password one two three four we can actually connect to a database called users okay but we have to populate this database with some data so here on my desktop i have created a file called script.sql so if i open this file you will see it's just a simple SQL file. So first of all, I have created a table called users with some actually columns. So there is column user ID, which is auto increment and the primary key also, and actually second column called name and the third column, which is populated with phone numbers. And here I insert some data into this database. Okay. So according to the MySQL container documentation, if you want to execute a script at the beginning of actually a database, you have to add an option, add then the name of your script. So my script is named is script.sql. So of course, this script must be in same direct, uh, directory as the docker file okay and by default this script must actually add it to this specific directory called docker entry point entry point dash init db dot d so all the scripts that are actually in the specific directory will be executed when the database will be initialized, okay? And that's all. We can also add a port mapping with the instruction expose. <coughs> so the port will be 3306 as always. <coughs> okay, so now let's save our file here right and quit okay so let's verify it with the cat command and here we go those are all the instructions in order to build actually our customized image so in order to build this customized image we use the docker command with the build parameter minus t and we can specify here the name of our image so it's common to use your name slash other name if you want so i will call it just mysql for example uh, 01 for example okay so this is name of our image and here space then we have to specify where the docker file is so here by default i am on my desktop so the docker file is on the current directory which I will specify by the dot. So the dot means the Docker file is in the current directory. Okay. So this build command will actually build our customized image. So I will hit enter. And of course, it will take some time in order to create this image. And we will see at the end that we have successfully created a command or a database with all the information that we have provided so here you can see that we have successfully created our image so let's verify that using the command docker images and here we go you can see that i have created a 
image called Amin slash MySQL01. It has size almost the same as uh, MySQL official image because actually we just added some lines. So now let's create a container from this image. So Docker run. So I will name it this time DB2 for example. And the name of, for the port, I have to expose port 3306, as always, 3306, and also in the dash mode, and I have to specify the image name. So this time I will use my customized image. Okay. So I hit enter, so the container has been created. Okay, so let's connect to it using shell. So docker exec. So this time I will use db2 and not db in order to connect to it. Here we go. So now let's test that actually we have created the user that we have created here actually. User called Aminos with the password 1234. Okay, so I'll use MySQL, but this time the user is Aminos and password 1234. So, as always, it depends on the speed of your machine. You have to wait a little bit in order to get the connection because the image sometimes is not built as quickly as possible. So here, if I hit enter, for example, you see I can't connect yet to the local MySQL server container. So you have to wait a little bit in order to get the connections. Okay, here we go. Now we have connected using the credentials Aminos and the password 1234. So let's verify that our database exists, which, which called actually users. So I'll use command so databases semicolon as always and yeah it is so let's see the table so i'll use the user databases or database okay so let's let's see the tables normally we should find the table users okay so now we can execute an sql command in order to see if the data has been actually entered using our docker file so i will select all from the table users et voila as you can see we have effectively integrated our data into our customized image so we can run whatever sql statement that you want for example select all from users where name is equal to Lisa, for example, so just as test. And here we go, we get the corresponding line. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction how to create and test a database server in Docker. So I hope it has been informative for you, and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.